Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about the results day 2018 and the grade boundaries for 2018. Uh, I don't really have much to say about results day. I mean, it's really all about you, the people that actually sat the exams. I've heard from some of you who have watched the videos or some of my students that have uh, said thank you because they got really good results. I heard from some people that got nines and they were saying thank you uh, for the videos. They are saying they really helped. And that's really, really nice to hear. Uh, you know, that's kind of why teachers do what they do is to hear from students saying thank you for all the help. Um, so it's really lovely to hear, uh, get emails and comments saying that kind of thing. Uh, so thank you to you if you did reach out and, and kind of make a comment about that. But you should give yourself the credit as much as it's nice to hear from you. You know, give yourselves the credit. You did all the hard work. You, uh, you know, were doing the revision, watching the videos, um, making sure you understood the content. So it's, it's all up to you really, your results. So take all of the credit you deserve it and you should be proud of yourselves. Obviously not everybody did great. I'm sure there are some Perhaps some of you watching that didn't get the results you wanted and uh, that's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, you know, it's, it's just results, it's just exam results. I understand it's disappointing and, uh, you know, for some people it can be really quite difficult uh, to deal with. So I'd suggest talking to people about it if you, if you are disappointed, talking to your teachers, maybe talking to your friends, kind of saying, okay, what can I do about this? what's my next step if everything didn't go to plan. So uh, there's always people around to help you with these things. Yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you to those that did comment or did send me an email. And uh, so let's have a look at the grade boundaries for June 2018. These are the edXL grade boundaries. As always, this channel is generally focused on edXL content. I haven't yet started doing content on the other exam boards. Maybe that's something to look at in the future. But uh, let's have a look at the uh, mathematics grade boundaries for 2018. So if we go down to mathematics down here, and I thought it'd be interesting to compare them to the 2017 grade boundaries as well. So here we have the maths for foundation and uh, higher. Um, and I was surprised that they didn't actually change too much. Um, we still have that grade four on the higher grade boundaries as quite low. So 50 out of 240 grades for a pass is still quite low. I honestly was expecting that to go up a little bit more, but then again, I mean, the exams were still quite difficult. So uh, it's, it's still fine in, in my opinion. I think the grade boundaries are still okay. I, I know there's still going to probably be some attention given to that low grade four, but yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. For foundation, again, they didn't change too much either. So let's have a look at the 2017 grade boundaries. Here they are. So for both higher and foundation, they, they both went up in 2018. So here we've got the grade boundaries for 2017, June 2017, uh, 26, 58, 90, 122, 158. Compare those to uh, 2018. 3166, 101, 136, 169. Uh, so just another quick look. So they've gone up by about 10 on each grade boundary, you can see. And then for higher, the same thing. So this is 2017 here on the screen. So 27, 41, 68, 96, 124, 157, and 190 for a grade nine. And then we look at the 2018 grade boundaries. And you can see they've gone up by about 10 marks on each grade boundary, pretty even across the grades. And the grade nine, 202 out of 240. That's pretty tough. That's a, just about 85% over the three exams. So pretty difficult to get a grade nine still in mathematics. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide what you think of the exams difficulties in 2017 and 2018, if you did both sets. But yeah, that grade nine, I think, 200 marks out of 240 is quite fair for a grade nine. And we'll see how it goes in 2019. You know, there's been three sets of exams now. So the grade boundaries, I think, are settling fairly well. Uh, I think the exam boards have a good understanding of the new content. 
and hopefully they won't change too much more. Uh, they could go up or down, but I reckon these ones are about the average that they'll stay around for now. Uh, so that's the 2018 and 2017 grade boundaries comparing them. And, and that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Again, congratulations to all of you for your results. I can't believe summer's almost over. It seems to have gone like a flash. Let me know if you're going on to uh, A-level mathematics or something like that, or are you starting year 11 this year? Uh, so let me know in the comments. Let me know how your results went in the comments. I would love to hear about it. And uh, well, that's about it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.